Hi, my name is Alex with Data Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to add page restrictions to your Confluence pages. Page restrictions is a very delicate thing. It is very, very powerful. And if you don't do it correctly, if you don't follow some best practices, you can actually get yourself into a lot of trouble here. So make sure you watch this entire video because not only am I going to show you how to add the restrictions, but I'm going to give you my pointers, my best advice on how to basically use them successfully without causing too much trouble in your environment. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Make sure you look below and that subscribe button says subscribed, not subscribe, but subscribed and drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Confluence. All right, so over in Confluence, we are going to be talking about page restrictions. Now, this is different than page access or space access. Space access, we've covered before. This is managed at the space settings over here on the left hand side. And using the space permissions under general, you can add individuals to your space, assuming you're in a paid version of Confluence, but you can either add groups or you can add individual users. And then you can manage basically who gets to come into your space. I want you to treat a space like a house. This is basically, you can allow specific people, you can give people the key to your front door and let them come into your space. But the problem is once they're in their space, it's kind of like an open floor concept. You can essentially, anybody that has that key or access to walk into that front door, they can pretty much see anything that they want. Every once in a while though, you want some privacy. You don't want all of your information to be exposed to everybody that's coming in. So in order to do that, Confluence actually has something called a restriction. Now, if you're looking here while we're in the space permission, you'll notice that there's a restriction section here. And so as the space administrator, you will by default have this ability to add restrictions. You want to limit who can add restrictions because adding restrictions, as I mentioned at the beginning, is a very powerful thing. But you want to be very careful because if somebody's adding restrictions, Confluence treats restrictions differently than access to the space. And only if you're in Confluence Premium, so only if you're paying for the most expensive version of Confluence, do the administrators of your space, specifically your site admins, get a master key that can unlock the spaces. So what usually happens is you give everybody the ability to add restrictions. They start adding restrictions to their pages and then they leave the company. And when they leave the company, they take the key with them. And if they take the key with them, then other individuals that might not already have access basically can't access those pages anymore. And so you do need to be on a premium version of Confluence to be able to basically unlock that page and let other people in. So you want to be very, very careful that the people that you're giving these pay restrictions to are going to be kind of long-term thinkers here because if, if you can get into a trouble really, really quickly, if pages are just restricted left and right, and then that individual leaves. So you want to be very, very careful, especially if you're not on Confluence Premium. If you're on Confluence Standard, this is when you want to be very, very careful. If you're on Premium, it's a lot more forgiving because your site admins have that golden key. But if you're on Standard, you want to make sure you're very, very careful. The other annoyance is if you're a Confluence administrator, you may get a lot of requests from people saying, Hey, I need access to a page because it's restricted. And as a Confluence admin, there's not much you can do unless you're on the premium version again, right? Because you have that golden key. But if you're on standard and somebody's asking for access to that page, there's not a whole lot you can do as an administrator because administrators can give access to the space, to the house, but they don't have that golden key to open up the individual rooms. And so you want to be, again, very, very careful to who and how you give these restriction permissions because those individuals are going to yield a lot of power. And you want either nobody to have the ability to stand them up or you want somebody that's going to be like a site level administrator that's going to basically be with your company or with your team a lot longer so that you don't run into these problems. Or you just pony up the money and you bump yourself up to Confluence Premium. So those are my tips on how to basically navigate restrictions when you don't really know what the consequences of using restrictions are. But now let me show you the reason you came to the video is to add the restrictions. 
adding the restrictions is actually quite easy. So all you need to do is go into a page. So I'm going to go into this page for meeting notes. And so when you're in here, you will notice that on the right hand side, there's a little lock. And if you click on that little lock, you will be able to essentially add a restriction. So I'm going to click on learn more because I don't actually have the ability to add restrictions because I'm on the free version of Confluence. But let me show you what it looks like real quick. Okay, so since I don't have the power since I'm on a free version of Confluence, this is what it looks like when you click on that little lock. When you click on that lock, you're going to be basically presented with this option of having no restrictions, which in a team-based environment, having no restrictions is always a really, really good thing. You want everybody to be able to like roam around the cabin and see all the data because it encourages and and basically encourages communication. It encourages your team to behave like a team. And so you generally want no restrictions. But every once in a while, you have something sensitive like, like budgets or you have something sensitive like, I don't know, employee reviews, whatever you want, right? And every once in a while, you don't want those pages to just be out in the open. So you actually have two options. One, you restrict those pages using the page restrictions or you move them to a different space and that space where like executives have access to and not everybody else. So if you find yourself having to restrict a lot of pages in your spaces, I recommend that rather than adding a lot of restrictions everywhere, go and create a dedicated space, lock that up to just the executives or the people that HR, or whoever actually needs access and let your team members have a free range of open environment in their regular like technical spaces. Right. But anyways, assuming you absolutely want to add those restrictions, you'll click on that little lock and you'll basically um, click. You have three options to choose from. You can do no restrictions. You can do everyone can view, but only some can edit. Or you can explicitly say only some can view and edit. And so these are the three options that you have. Once you click on that, once you basically make your determination, you will then have to call out the individual. So you can put the people's name. And then you will be able to explicitly say they have access or has no access. They can edit and view or they can just view. So this is essentially what you got to do for every single page. And there is one little bit of advice that I will give you. If you do this at a parent level, so you can see here I have budgets. If I were to lock my budgets, my children pages, so all the pages down here, will inherit that lock. So you don't have to like lock every single page individually. You can actually just go and lock the, the highest level page and then all the children will trickle. Again, you want to be very careful. I recommend again, if you find yourself locking a lot of pages, I recommend that you go and move those pages to another space and restrict the access to that space to the appropriate department or the appropriate people. Because in general, you want your team to just be able to see everything. It fosters really, really good communication. It fosters a good culture of trust. And in, in, in general, I don't recommend you have restrictions, not only because of the culture and trusting, but also because, again, you need to have the Confluence Premium to be able to unlock those pages should somebody leave. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And if you've made it this far and you're still not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. It helps the channel out tremendously. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.